so this is where I store my bronzers these are my bronzers here these are highlights and some uh, my blush row is here and then I have some over I have some over here as well those are blushes mostly and highlights and then I have some bronzers in here so um so yeah let's get started in declutter these are my bronzers now I did put these in an order I put these down here are my low end the first and the second row and then the fourth the fifth and the sixth row are my high-end bronzers so let's get straight into this video I'm not gonna take a long time at all and we're gonna do a little bit of decluttering I did declutter a lot of my bronzers already so the first one is the this is the wet n wild contour palette I really did like this one before the photo focus I am gonna declutter this one and if I can get it open first of all it's really big I did love I love this if anything if I were gonna declutter this which I'm not I would depot this one the powder I do not like but I'm gonna pass this along and give it a good home so this one is definitely going to be decluttered the next one is the super stay better skin in coconut now I've told you guys before that I use one of the best tricks in the book which is when you don't have a good bronzer or if you find a good powder that's amazing go two shades darker and get use it as a bronzer I really do like this it goes on smooth I like the better skin I have um, I have it in tan classic tan as well but this one I'm definitely gonna keep this is a great one from the drugstore that I really do love and it brings warmth I do have cool tone and warm tone and this would be considered one of my warm tone um, type of bronzers the next one that I have is a elf bronzing palette now I really do like this I use this in a tutorial a beauty on a budget slay on a budget I believe and I will link that video um, here in this video but I really do like this because it incorporates shimmering I don't know if you can see that but this one right here is a shimmering these two are more on the darker side but this is a cool tone this is a cool tone and then you have two warms so this one is great for travel and you can also pop these out and add a highlighter or a blush and just make your own palette so I really do enjoy that and elf has a great mirror this was only six dollars and it's a steal but I am doing a one brand tutorial I will figure out after that if I would keep this bronzer which I probably will just because it has a great mirror and I can depot and add to this one these two are both elf bronzers this one is most recent in a haul this is the highlight bronzer now I use this as a bronzing topper or in the summer this would be great as a dual just to use um, to bronze with let me just adjust the light a bit so you can see better but this one is amazing you can put it on it's just lightly but I'm gonna tell you baked products just look so much better on me to be honest with you I can use this by itself and it actually works just like that Ulta one that you see right there which I absolutely love but this elf I'm going to keep this one I'm going to declutter this one just broke up on me and everything and it's old so it's gonna go over here into the clutter pile next one is the butter bronzer I did give one of these in my giveaway a while back as one of my favorite products from the drugstore I still love it it's a cool tone it, or a neutral tone it's not too warm it's not too cool and I am medium I'm medium tan skin so I can still get away with this dark skin tones Physicians formula just needs to do better in terms of their shades to me. They only have two shades and this is the darker of the two. This is the bronzer bronze and then they have a light bronze but it has mirror mirror butter in it. I really do enjoy it. You can see a little dent in it and I'm keeping this for the summer. This one I can actually contour with too because it is cool tone so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Now, I really do enjoy this. If you can see that this is more on the warm side, and I really do enjoy this, especially in the summer. 
because of how dark it is. I did do have it in deep tan. This is a great bronzer. This is a bronzer just like the Physician's Formula. These are going to be a little bit more pricey for you from the drugstore, but I really do enjoy this. I believe that this one works as good as a high-end bronzer. So this one I am definitely keeping. These two are more recent. These are the Maybelline Master Highlight. Now these are highlighting bronzers and the reason why I put these in here is because this is a product that I would use with using really, um, I wouldn't put on a highlighter with these. These are just like blushing highlight. No, these are the highlight bronzers. So these are kind of like to warm up the skin at the same time. So these have a dual purpose. I really do, um, I'm starting to use these. I have not. I've only tried it once and I have two more so I'm gonna keep these for testing and see I may declutter one at some point in time this is the Sonia Kashuk this is the chic luminosity bronzer highlighter duo I did do love this and I thought it was limited edition but they actually have this in the stores um, and this is so stunning on I talked about this in a favorites a couple of years ago I since then um, passed on one and kept the other so I did declutter one of these I just feel like you know what there's only a few products that I would want a backup in this one I absolutely love but I can't see myself anytime soon getting through it that fast so that's why I passed on one to another person so I really do enjoy that I'm gonna keep these this one is a baked bronzer this looks so good on if you want a bronzer just in the summertime where you want to pop it on the cheeks and give you a glow where no blush no highlight this is going to give you both this is by Ulta I feel like this is such an underrated y'all see I've used it so much first of all the dome is like flat pretty much almost and the top actually came off but this is so stunning this is not going anywhere this is probably one of my first this one as this one works as a high end as well but Ulta I would say out of my shimmering ones out of my radiant type of bronzers this one tops them all I love it on to my high end these are my makeup forever pro bronze fusion y'all know this is like my favorite bronzer if you got rid of all of these this is the bronzer that I would keep and this is the only one that I have a backup in as you can tell these I I'm not it's not going anywhere these are more on the warm tone side I really do enjoy this uh, makeup forever has a large range they have both luminous ones and they have matte ones I love this bronzer I'm telling you if you took all of them away if you kept me with these two I would be happy I love these these are not going anywhere I'm gonna put these over here oh and I'm in the shade 30 M I want to say that one has rubbed off I can't even see the shade anymore but I'm pretty sure that it's 30 M or 31 M I know it's Sienna I believe it's Sienna is the shade but those are amazing got this at a beauty con and this is the Vita Liberata this is their loose bronzer this is a self tanning bronzer minerals it came with a brush and I'm definitely gonna keep this because you can bronze your skin with this and if you want a nice tan look you can use this I really do enjoy this I'm kind of scared to open this because it's just fine it's so it's a mineral one it's so finely milled and it looks really good on the skin too but it tans you this one is more like a self tanning bronzer you can use it on your face and your body but I really do love this and I'm gonna keep it because it's not only a loose one that I have and I do use it that's the main thing if I wouldn't use it then I would get rid of it but no I use it this one is an old school one and this is the soulmates Ross and Rachel um, bronzer by Too Faced I love this look now this is gone I use this so much to the point where I couldn't repress it but I'm keeping it for the mirror this is such a beautiful mirror and there's no way I'm getting that's just too cute and I love using it as a, in my purse it just has a great mirror so this one I'm not decluttering but it has no use <laughs> there's no bronzer in there anymore but I did I guess I could say that that's a bronzer that I went through 
the Too Faced. This is the Dark Chocolate Soleil. I've talked about this before in a dupes video. So I'm gonna put the dupes video here in this video, but this one is phenomenal. I love this. This is one of my favorite high end. Next to the Makeup Forever, I have like maybe top three. Um, I really do enjoy this. So I'm gonna keep this one. I think I'm gonna declutter this one. This is the Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer by Too Faced. And this is how that looks. I think this one, it kind of, it does kind of like the same as the master. I'm gonna keep it for the sake of checking to see if it's a dupe of one of these and maybe incorporate it in a dupe video and then declutter it. But this one it is going to go, but I'm going to check and see one if one, which I think I do have a dupe to, if one of these blushing bronzers that I have from Maybelline or the blushing highlights, I can uh, do this and see if it works but this is I'm gonna put in declutter pile but I am gonna check and see if it's a dupe so yeah this is the Mali Beauty this one is newer to me but this one is it's not even called a bronzer but it's so this is called an ever uh, ever cover ever color poreless face defender by Mali Beauty I kind of didn't know what this was but it's a creamy bronzer basically and it's very pushy it's like a push cushion kind of reminds you of like ColourPop bronzers to be honest with you so I know this isn't a palette but I have two bronzers in here as you can tell this that I've hit pan this is one of two bronzers that I've already hit pan on I cannot find my NYC they don't sell it in the US anymore but that one is a bronzer that I hit pan on I absolutely love it but I can't find it so yeah that's the reason why we need to declutter right this one is by benefit that's hula bronzer i really do enjoy that i do have um you know what i have another i have two no more high-end bronzers i'll pull them out but this i really do love that's not going anywhere and this one's by mary Kay. this is a shimmering bronzer and it's discontinued i really do enjoy it so I'm not going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep these. And I actually use this, use this for travel. That's why it's already in its. This is like kind of like my travel go-to. Like my highlight bronzer contour. Because I can use this as a contour too. And my blushers. So yeah. This is a backup. That's why I have this out. This is the Hula bronzer. But as you can tell this is a little bit smaller in a pan. Because this was. I want to say this was the Chica Thon. And you can tell these are all my benefit blushes but that's the hula bronzer and um yeah i really do love this on the go this is basically a backup of my hula bronzer so this is not going anywhere okay totally forgot about these but these are this i got from a christmas um from nars this is the algorithm palette and let me show you this is the algorithm uh palette from the Christmas collection um, maybe about a, two years ago I want to say and this has the kind of like marble slash like I don't know I just I really like the glass it looks like tempered glass I guess but this is Laguna bronzer with the Eater brush I love this bronzer this is probably and this is in my top five in bronzers which I probably will come with soon because spring and summer is here but summer is coming spring is here um i really do enjoy this so i'm going to keep that bronzer and it's great for travel this one is an amazing one too because the laguna bronzer is in a smaller pan but it comes with the blushes i like this one for travel as well just because i have um the, there are some spring and summer colors there's a highlight in here miss liberty and then there's a laguna bronzer so i really do enjoy this and it has an amazing mirror so these i'm keeping so um i knew that there weren't a lot that i was going to get rid of but I absolutely these are my bronzers um, some of these I probably at some point will get rid of but at the at this moment I really do enjoy um, bronze the bronzers that I have I didn't know that these are were the ones I was this was not going to be like a huge declutter so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video